Good morning, guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, uh, quite an eventful Saturday. I'm going to do some unboxing and some show and tell kind of stuff. And then I'm going to get straight over to my miniature channel. I have a house to build, well, a room box to build. And after I build the room box, then I'm going to get started on some other stuff. Um, I have a giveaway. I have just all kinds of stuff to get done. So today I'm going to make it short and sweet, do an unboxing and a discussion. And then we're going to move over to the dollhouse, my miniatures channel. So first of all, my daughter, her rat passed away. And so she took her uh, cage and equipment to a secondhand store and donated it, which I thought was very big of her. Um, so anyhow, on her way out, she said she happened to see this book sitting on a chair. Can you imagine? So this book is exactly what it is. It's a scrapbook. It is just pages and pages and pages and pages of, look at this, isn't this beautiful? There's one page in here I want to show you that I'm going to put, and I may actually video the making of this box. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm thinking Christmas. I don't know why, but I'm thinking, well, yeah, Christmas. Um, when I get to the one particular page, I'm hoping, this page, I want to trim that out to put on the top of, of um, I'll show you. I'm hoping it'll fit because this is part of a 50 item swap. So see, I'm hoping it's going to fit on the top of the box right here. And I was going to do stamps, but after I saw this, I was like, no, I have somewhere in here, I think a um, it'll say vintage. And I think if I can find it, I realize it will fit perfectly. But look at this. I know it's kind of shiny, but decoupage it up with some matte decoupage. And I swear, somewhere I saw in here it said vintage. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Romantic. Um... So I have to go back and find it, but isn't it? Look at it even came with a bookmark. Look at this bookmark. Is that not the best? So somewhere I have to find Victorian scrapbook, fashionable ladies. Oh, I thought that was vintage. So I have to go through and I have to find the word vintage. And then... I have a um, Book of Corinthians index card swap coming up. So I think I'm going to put that on the card and then embellish around the sides. But I swear, along the garden path, I have a um, garden swap coming up. So I just felt like, wow, this is... A perfect thing. There's some great steampunk stuff in here. Look at this. This is just a fantastic, fantastic find. And I told her you can't even imagine. I swear I saw vintage. And it might have been somewhere else. But anyhow, this is going to bring me lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of joy. Now, the next thing is, is I am a subscriber to inked pulp cheryl hello cheryl um and she has pop-up sales and um estate she goes to estates and, and gets tons of the coolest coolest stuff you're ever going to find so i'm going to go through the box which is slightly out of camera um and show you some of the stuff she has um you'll have to go over and check it out so this is lace and how about this lace with this Victorian book, huh? Look at this. This is the kind of stuff she has. And her prices are unbeatable. So you have to get over there. This is just fantastic. So this stuff is going to go in my own personal journals. And that's going to be that. These I found at a junk store here locally. And they're beach. This one's a little purse, lemon slice, sand bucket, um, a little beach hat that says pretty, 
I'm not sure what this is. It looks like um, ear earphones to a little maybe phone or radio. Flip flops, high heel shoe, and somewhere, 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 in all my other stuff, there is a bigger size pair of flip flops. But that's another story. And today I will be getting to some organizing. Okay, so perfect for a travel journal, don't you think? With all the little envelopes on it. So this will be part of a travel journal. There's birthday, there's cherries, there's hot tea, there's balloons, buttons, flowers, purses, birdhouses. So this is going to be part of a travel journal cover, anyhow. This, Cheryl, I love you to pieces, but I'm going to re-gift. It's, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely gorgeous. But here's the thing. I cannot tolerate corduroy. Can't tolerate it. So I can't touch this fabric. If you noticed, I barely picked it up. So as beautiful as it is, I'm sending that out in a <coughs> swap. So thank you for that. I didn't realize it was corduroy or I would not have bought it, to be honest with you. But it'll go out. It will find a nice home. This, oh, this is fantastic. This is its own journal. And I'm going to do a vintage journal with this. Now it is pretty much the right size. I mean, it's an odd size for a journal. But I'm thinking if I fold this side in, maybe, and then this side over. I don't know yet how I'm going to, but that's just the perfect size for a journal. And I may, once we get the spine in, it might just actually be the right size. So this is definitely going to be a journal. And it's already got, this goes this side up, it's already got the enclosure on it so I just got to put a button there so Cheryl thank you you find the nicest things then next up is this absolutely cool um fabric and it's got some beach you I don't know is that that's not a ukulele I don't it's not a harpsichord if you guys know what that instrument is, let me know. Guitar. And it's basically ready to, again, make a journal cover with. So I just got to bring that out a little bit. This is not going to be hard to do at all. So there's going to be another journal. And then these guys were the hankies. So I got these. These have the little tiny lace with the holes around the edge. So these are going to be part of a sewing book. There's two. Here's an off-white. There's four of these. So these will be part of a sewing uh, stitch book. And then I'm thinking this will be the cover for my stitch book. And then look at this. Is this not perfect? Is this not the most wonderful edging for a journal? So like I said, she has the best stuff. These postcards, because I'm doing a Southwest style book, they have the... Um, this I think is more maybe, yeah, a ceremonial spinning top than the dead lizard and then the bird. It's, it's a, it's a parrot, but it almost looks like a, a vulture. So these are all going to go in my Southwest book. We're not even done yet. Here's another one of the hankies for my stitch book. This is going to be a journal cover and I'm going to do it with lace and dress it all up 
this is also going to be this might be a travel journal because it's not very big or I'm not sure, but I really liked it. I just might keep that as a little decorative background for when I do unboxings or um, take pictures of stuff that I receive in the mail. But it's really pretty. Um, this is perfect. This is going to be a journal cover. And it's ready to go. I just need to trim it up, fold it in, and I'm thinking that I may do some different... I, I just got tons of ideas for it. Then this, because I am doing a paisley journal. I just thought this would be perfect for the front. And I also got some more um, fabric coming from Cheryl that has paisley um, complements, you know, complements paisley. So that will be going in there as well. And yet there's more. My favorite, favorite, favorite piece that I want on a, a bid is in there. This, I want to do just a journal that size. And I think what I may do is trim it, sew it, do the little edge like that, and then this piece would be the spine. Cut it down and make the spine with it. I think. I don't know. I really like that piece, but... Since it's three, I don't know yet. Or I put the journal here in this. You know what, guys? I put the journal here, make it a one signature journal, and then just overlap it right there. Yes. Yes. That way I don't have to cut it. This one, I'm, you know, as pretty as it is, I am going to cut it. This one is the tapestry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the journal regular size and then I'm going to trim it and cut another piece and add it to the top. So it'll be double the size. It'll be a larger journal and it may overlap, but look, it, it's already got the tassel for it and it's already got the, this side's already hemmed. So this will be fun. This one we'll do online. We'll do on videos. Okay, that is the end of that. And most likely the end of my video here. So I would like to thank you guys for coming out to see me today. And now, without further ado, I am going to get busy on building a dollhouse. If you guys would like to see how I make my miniatures, I invite you over to my miniature channel, which is Fox House Creations. All right, guys, I appreciate you joining me on this Saturday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share.